A need fulfilled. ABC 27 has been following a story about neighbors and strangers coming together to help buy a service dog for a young boy named Corbin. I'm your Southwest Tallahassee reporter Terry Gilliam at Tom Brown Park. As we told you last week, Sadie the service dog finally arrived in Tallahassee. Now Corbin's family tells me they just finished up training so Sadie can give Corbin the support he needs. It's been a little hard, but I'm, I'm really up for the challenge. A challenge that Kelly Ashling and her family has been dealing with for months. Sadie, a golden retriever dog, is finally a permanent addition to the family in Corbin, an eight-year-old boy who has autism. Sunday, Corbin's parents went to Tom Brown Park for their final day of handler training. Something most people don't realize is how personalized the dogs can be. That was Marissa Rowlings, a dog trainer for Highland Canine Training. She says training service dogs is a unique process. Every dog can have very similar tasks, but utilizing it to every single child or person that they go to is so important and so amazing to see. The training is now in the hands of the parents, and Ashling says the family is ready. I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can, learn my new habits, and make sure that I know that it's my responsibility now. New habits that Highland and Corbin's family have been working on. We have to make sure those are trained very solid for the family. It's something that Ashling agrees with. The whole point is to help to improve Corbin's life and improve his independence. Corbin's family tells me they're ready for the challenge, but understands the new adjustment with Sadie will take some time. At Tom Brown Park, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.